some developers are afraid to use delegate code because quite frankly, it is actually scary. You can easily get hacked if you implement your contracts poorly. So we're going to dive into that. But first, if you're new here, I'm Stefan and on Eat the Blocks, we help Web2 developers transition into Web3. Hey, sorry to interrupt. Just a quick update. I wanted to let you know that if you ever need a smart contract audit, we can help. I know that quite a few among you have created custom tokens, decentralized exchanges, and other types of dApps. Now the next step is to make sure to identify all possible smart contract vulnerabilities and make sure that your code works as intended. You want to bring peace of mind to both your users and your partners. The solution we offer you, leverage one of the most famous brands in the blockchain space, Unblock Labs by Eat the Blocks. You will have your code reviewed by our team of experts and even by Julian himself. So how to get started? It's super simple. Just click on get in touch, send us a link to your contracts and a brief explanation of what your project is about. We'll get back to you real soon. So what is delegate call? Delegate call is a special variant of a message call. It's like a regular call, but the difference here is that it executes in the context of the contract that called it. In other words, it means that you can call another contract, but with the stored data, of your calling contract. So you are A, a contract or an account, and you call B to delegate call C, or even A for that matter. You can dynamically load code from a different address at runtime. And then you have the storage, current address, and balance. They still refer to the calling contract. Only the code is taken from the called address. Okay, so let's have a look at the demonstration. Okay, so here we have an example with the delegate call that sole contract on Remix. If we look at the previous example, I'm going to be A and I'm going to make the call. I'm going to use the contract B to delegate call C. Okay. C has a simple function, a set variables function. Uh, all we do is that we set the data for the sender value and uh, a public number. And very important, uh, between C and B, they must have the same storage layout. If they don't have the same storage layout, what's going to happen is that the data is going to be written in different memory slots. Okay, so that's not what we want. To do the delegate call, if we look in contract B, uh, there's a few ways to do it. You can do it using the function signature, okay? And you can do it using the function selector. So, okay, cool. So now I'm going to compile this contract. Here we go. Now I'm going to deploy C. It is deployed. Okay, and now if we look at the variables, everything should be at zero. Num is at zero, the sender is a zero address, and the value is zero. Okay, so now I'm gonna de deploy B. Here we go. I'm deploying B. Okay, same thing in B. We have num at zero, sender at zero, value at zero. And now I'm gonna call the set variables in B. So I'm gonna need the address of C. Pass right here for the number, I don't know, three, and we're gonna send something like uh, a thousand way. Here we go. Okay, we do the transaction, here we go. Now if we look into C, everything is still at zero, okay? But now if I look into B, we have number three, the sender, it's my address right here, five B3, and the value is the 1000 ways that we send. Here we go. Okay, so when would you use call or delegate call? Call is mostly used for the transfer of ethers to a contract and it passes all the gas to the receiving function. And you would see delegate call generally when a contract invokes a library with public functions or uses a proxy contract to write smart, upgradable contracts. Now, the problem with using delegate call is that it can be dangerous if you're not careful because an attacker can become the owner of the contract that contains the delegate call function and it can easily change the state variables and even self-destruct the contract. So things that you must look after when you implement a delegate call you need to execute only trusted code. You should only delegate call on addresses that actually have code. It sounds silly, but you really need to look after that. And you need to be sure that the storage layout is the same. And that's it for delegate call. If there's another Solidity concept that you would like us to look into, please leave it in a comment. That's it for today. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you next time.